what is going on you guys my 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 gemini what is going on baby i got a special request to bump y'all up on up the list because my baby came through said honey i'm waiting on gemini girl when you about to drop gemini so i said you know what let me go ahead and do gemini right now so shout out to all of my gemini's and shout out to my baby that gave me that um request i cannot remember your name but shout out to you my love it is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vira, it is Scorpion Reds Tarot. Thank every last one of you for clicking this video. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of you who have clicked this video. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and stopping through to hang out with your boo, okay? Um, if there's anyone who would like to uh, book a personal or private reading, I do readings on Instagram Messenger. Go ahead and send me a message to go ahead and get yourself booked. Check out the About tab or the description in this video, and it gives you the price list and instructions on how to book with me if you do not have Instagram don't worry about it okay we can connect to do our video reading on Google Hangouts Google Hangouts is a free easy app to download the only information that we need to exchange is our email my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com go ahead and shoot me an email and we'll get you on the schedule okay as you know Gemini we always give blessings and we give praise to father god the creator before we do anything so let's go ahead and bow our heads and give him thanks father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of gemini my 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 how has the time fly it's already november we going into um, december we going into a new year father god we going into a new year with no fear we going into the new year bless prayed up you know uh just <laughs> In the best spirit that we could possibly be, Father God, and we thank you so much for keeping us covered and keeping us protected and keeping us respected, Father God. We respect in ourselves and we dang sure is making sure everybody around us is putting some respect on our name, Father God. So continue to give us um, hope, continue to keep us in prayer and faith, Father God, and continue to um, encourage us to be on our path so that we can make it on our way to where we supposed to go, you know. So, Father God, thank you so much for showing us our purpose in life and thank you so much for um helping us just to regather ourselves and you know continue to move forward on this test of faith father god continue to cover us in the name of jesus we pray amen let's get into this for the gemini let's get into this for gemini you guys yeah 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 so y'all already know i am going to place all of the cards face down well i'm going to try to because sometimes we got jumpers that wants to show their self in advance. So, let's see. Hold on, you guys. Let me just move my phone on up out of here because I know that this is going to be a distraction. Excuse me. All right. One more shuffle. Okay, so again, like, God is just encouraging me to just tell you like a high level of respect is coming to you. Just stay encouraged. You're going to get the respect that you deserve. Look, the Madre of Water, so like this is the Queen of Cups. Like, very, very... um just encouraged just feels very confident of herself very loving very giving very nurturing um just honoring yourself in every way in your womanhood like you feel very beautiful like this i'm getting like the empress energy like your hair is like flowing like i feel like the texture of your hair has softened i don't know if you were doing like some hair regimen or something like that but um I feel like your hair is very silky right now. It's just, 
I don't, you can tell the growth in your life by like the silkiness of your hair. I don't know if you put like a hot oil treatment. Cause look, you see like how these um, herbs is soaking up there in the water. I don't know if you went and got like some aloe vera and then went and took like um, some sage or what is this saying? This is oats. Shoot, I don't know. Like, I feel like you went and took, like, some herbs or something and with some really hot water. And you, like, got all of the minerals and stuff out of the herbs and stuff with the water. And it's, like, you drained it out with, like, a cheesecloth or stuff with just, like, the water. And, like, you mixed it up with, like, olive vera and all of this stuff. Like, a conditioner, something that you put in your hair. It's like you just want to watch it grow. It's like you're watching your hair grow. They just okay. It's like you starting your own hair company or something, like a hair products company or something. Okay, so it's like an oil and root serum. It's like you taking. It's like an oil, root, aloe vera, something, something, something. Ugh, we got the lovers in reverse just popped out. Okay, with this lovers in the reverse, I heard like you're rejecting an invitation to somewhere. Like you're rejecting an invitation. Like you're not really feeling this couple. You don't really like their energy. You don't feel like they um, exude positive energy. Like you look the mother of water. Like the, you know what I'm saying? Like the queen of cups. Like you are, <laughs> you are a very positive, loving individual. Like you don't like to be around people where it's like a lot of arguments and like dysfunction going on in the home it's like you could have came from that or you just came from that and it's like why in the hell would I want to hang around a couple that's always arguing and stuff I feel like this couple gives you anxiety it's like as soon as you're around them it's like um I want to go home like this this is I'm I'm just not comfortable you know you like to be around people that have positive relationships like a positive outlook positive aspect on love and life and it's just like y'all two just seem so miserable around each other like why do y'all stay around each other <laughs> like this is your question so listen gemini oh <laughs> jesus christ listen this is the center <laughs> God, it said, why must things be this way? What? 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 Yo, I feel like you guys need to relieve your digestive tract. I feel like you have like gas or something like in, like built up in your stomach or something like that. That's why I kind of feel like you're curled over that way. Um, I don't... <laughs> I don't feel like you're bent over like that because you're about to receive any energy. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, help me. Help me. 
This is this not the funniest goddamn picture that you don't ever seen in your life? Talk about why must things be this way? What? Y'all, I just feel like you need to be like this must okay. Someone must be like eating too much of the like um like a grainy uh uh based diet. Like y'all might be eating too many oats and oatmeals and stuff like that. Like you may need to like you need to have something else in to, to like break that down or something like that. I feel like you need to uh, like get a colonic or something. I feel like you might be having some pains or something in your stomach and just like gas or something. And you need like a detox tea or like a herbal tea or something. Like, and I see like your hair is like wrapped up in that bun. I feel like you have whatever your type of detangular hair nourishment treatment like wrapped up in your hair and stuff like that I feel like whatever some of that shit that you put in the net you need to put it in your stomach like honestly like aloe vera I believe that helps you with um digestive issues too you know what I'm saying um what else it's, it's other type of roots and herbs that you could kind of like um let soak in boiling water and stuff and like like I said, drain it with the cheesecloth and then you can drink it and it will help, you know what I'm saying, release some of that gas and some of that stuff. Uh, I don't know, that's just kind of what I'm getting. Because my stomach is hurting right now just talking about it. You got the three of air, so like this is, Lord Jesus. So this is like the three of air. The three of, <laughs> this is like the three of air. The three of air is the three of swords. So this is some type of like mental confusion some type of frustration uh something where you think something that you thought was good for you kind of turned against you and that's what i'm saying like it's something because my stomach is hurting i feel like gas right here and it's like you want to like take a poop or like release some gas but you can't it's like it's just like your belly is aching or something like that's how my stomach is feeling, but it's like, I don't know if this is like anxiety or something that it's like, uh, because it's like, I need to stop saying this like, the three of swords is something that is mentally causing you some type of pressure, a disposition that could be bringing body aches and pains to the rest of your body because like the mental controls the rest of the body if you stressing too much it may give you like stomach problems or something where you're feeling nauseous and because that's that anxiety or whatever so it's something that you provided for yourself that you feel like may be turning against you as you thought was good for yourself they may be turning against you like you might have planted in echinacea, echinacea, I believe, is a plant. It's like an um, antibacterial um, plant. Yes, echinacea is most definitely an antibacterial plant. It's something that created some type of indigestion or discomfort in the stomach. I'm serious. It's like y'all have like too much of an oat-based diet or some, some type of substance that you've been taking that I feel like it doesn't agree with your system. It doesn't agree with your system at all. This is such a curious dream. <laughs> in the reverse. And see, she's sitting there with the teacup grounding, returning to reality, coming home. So it's like, I want to say like, you might have been eating something that doesn't agree with your stomach, but you just keep doing it anyway. <laughs> you keep eating it every morning anyway <laughs> with your tea. Like you eating your oats with your tea every morning because that's just what you're used to doing. And you just don't see no reason in changing it. I don't feel like um, even the intuitive messages that you've been getting, like maybe you need to stop doing that. Um, you need to go to the doctor. This is what is creating this stomach issue for you it's causing stress like you're thinking about everything but what it really is that's causing these stomach cramps and things it's like 
you're introducing something to your system that doesn't agree with your system. It should work naturally, but I want to say you may be allergic to it. Um, you probably needed to make sure that there wasn't no pesticides on whatever it was. If you are growing something naturally, like maybe you need to watch uh, whatever stuff you're spraying on it, like spray natural things on it because... Maybe you're not cleaning it right and you're, yeah, it's, it's, it's something. It's like you not paying attention that whatever this substance or whatever this issue is or whatever this thing that you think is best for you and you keep reintroducing it to your system and it's just like you're just not getting it. And with this curious dream, I feel like even your dreams, everything is trying to scream to you like, ah, oh, you maybe don't need to um, <laughs> keep eating that every day. It's causing some bacteria issue or something like that. I'm even getting like someone may have BV or, or something. Because I'm getting like those nasty ass goddamn pills you got to take. and Ugh. Oh, oh, okay, anyway. Yeah, like the five, the five of diamonds. This is like karmic patterns. This is something that keeps happening over and over and over again. It's like some type of... Um, this is like your spirit guides or somebody trying to like reach out to you and just like, hey, you need to pay attention to this or like trying to teach you something so that you can change some type of habit or some type of way of something that you're doing is causing you either stress and anxiety, which is causing you stomach aches and pains. Um, it's either something that you are changing diet wise that you are introducing to your system and you are. I feel like in denial that it's not good to you, you possibly might be allergic to it. You need to try something else. Like if you keep doing the same thing and keep giving you the same issues and results, only a fool would continue to continue to reintroduce it to it. It says, beware of the Jabberwocky, my son, the jaws bite and the claws that catch. So like, it's like spirit is like warning you, like beware of whatever this is that's like the five of swords like it's you it's going to be a lose-lose situation every time that you keep trying to present this to yourself you know um and again with the with the queen of uh, cups right here you see she's drinking out of a shark tea glass so it's like you're sharp like you you are very aware um but i feel like there's certain things that you just might willfully ignore or just be in denial about um because just like you may have read about this and well the, the the book says like this should be it should work like this so like i don't understand like maybe it's something else is giving me stomach problems like no you're allergic to whatever the fuck this is like there are people that are literally uh, like literally allergic to oatmeal and things like that and oats and so you could just be allergic to it, you know, um, hold on. Let me see. I want to give you the five of diamonds real quick. The five of diamonds, again, karmic patterns, cause and effect, magnetic attraction, the law of attractions, thought that it creates experiences. So that's just like, you might just be having this crazy dream thinking. And I don't know why I'm really not picking up on a third party situation right now. Um, even though that is the three of swords right there, I feel like this is something that is just like a natural cause that naturally just isn't good for you, but you're just not paying attention. It says charisma, animal, mag magnetic, animal magnetism. I can never say that. Um, sexuality, personal space, local area, home, environment, furniture, a large personal possession or property, the speak, the act of speaking, an argument, a legal judgment, a court case, a city life. So it's like, it's just mm -mm. something that you need to be aware of that if you, okay, that's just like, okay, so that's just like, if you continue to keep chasing this this crazy wild dream, like you might be a country girl, but you might be chasing this dream of a city life 
where it's like people that live on top of each other and like an apartment building like you're not used to like living in such close quarters with people all around you and things like that uh the people that live in this lifestyle may just be vastly different than how you were raised and where you were brought up and people may be telling you hey if you move in this area listen what it says beware of the jabberwocky my son the jaws that bite the claws that catch like if you move to the city like there's certain dangers or certain experiences that you're probably going to have there so listen you know like you're going to get what you asking for so like you know if you, uh, uh, it might be a situation where it's too many people that live too close to each other and they have different opinions and different lifestyles and there may be some arguments or some, you know, fussing and fighting and things like that. But someone told you or warned you of it. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> like you bent over like, oh my God. Like, uh, I'm going through so much stress and just drama right now. Like, why must things be this way? You know, like I'm here just trying to and I really feel with this. Let me go. Let me go. Look, the Ten of Wands. You need to just drop this burden and stop trying to continue with whatever this crazy fantasy this is of yours. Of wanting to live the city life. Wanting to... Um, It's like it's it's too close to you, or for some like whatever the hell this is, this whatever this is is too close to you. <laughs> you need to like back up from this situation and let the two be, and allow you to be free or something like that. I feel like you need to just like stop trying to indoctrinate yourself into whatever this lifestyle or this dietary regimen is like maybe you can have two of the things in your tea but not it's just like one thing that you need to separate and you it don't mix well with your body chemistry you do you understand what i'm saying like it could give you like um i'm getting like bacteria or something like that. it's something it's something that knocks your system off it, it's something so you just need to just only do like maybe <laughs> I don't know what it is that you're doing. I don't know. You just need to do this and this and take away this. Okay, just completely take away this. Find a different purpose or use for that. Maybe that is just not good for tea for you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it just needs to be in your yard or something. I don't know. The fuck? I don't know. Let me <laughs> look, look growing up. Like making changes like I understand that we have these big dreams and these fantasies of what we want things to be and everything. And we try our best to be mature and give our heart and love to the situation. But sometimes, like, we got to just face reality. There are certain things that work for other people that just don't work for you. And whatever this is, is not working for you. I feel like you were warned by it spiritually, intuitively. But I want to say because you have some type of idea because you read something somewhere. <laughs> like this, it, it, and it's just you have some type of fantasy and, you, it, and it ends up hurting you anyway. And that's why I feel like maybe this pain, this digestive pain, this whatever this is, all in this area. It's like the stomach and it's like it can even hurt the bum area because if your stomach is hurting and you constantly at, at the toilet or it's like it's ever coming out this way or this way you know what i'm saying like you have a thorn up or it's coming out that way and it's like why the fuck am i sick like that and it's because this shit ain't good for you you know what i'm saying and it's like this and you see this this is definitely something that's going to be addressed this winter so if you ain't going to find out, if you ain't found it out now, you definitely going to find out later. Please, especially if you guys are changing your diet, go to a nutritionist. Um, and if you've never gone to an allergy doctor to see, just go for the fuck of it and see what you're allergic to. Because I'd rather you just like avoid whatever this pain is. Because I feel like your stomach hurts. You know what I'm saying? And it's saying wanting to grow. 
inexperience, rejections of perpetual youth. Again, so this is you understanding, growing up as the queen, trying to control your emotions, making sure, listen, I'm being sharp, I'm being on top of my shit, I'm very confident. You know, it's about growth, it's about me loving myself. It's about me putting something in myself that's going to stick. Oat stick, you know? It sticks. So, if you're not allergic to oatmeal, it's just saying that, um, I mean, if it is your, you have an allergy to oats and you can't have that, it's about just putting the right substance in your body that's going to stick because you don't want something as soon as you eat it or you drink it, it's going to have everything coming out this way or that way. You know, because that's where people go through, you know, it's, it's like, you, whatever it is, something is making you sick, baby. Something is making you sick. And it's like you're not able to hold nothing. And like, maybe that's why, are they saying that you need some oats right now? Um, because it'll be able to hold something in your stomach or it's something. God damn. God damn. Okay, let's see. You got the Six of Wands. That's not good. Something, like I said, turning against you. The King of Cups. The Death card. Oh, my God. So, again, it's like whatever it was, this King of Cups is definitely a water sign that y'all dealing with. Something, it, it just like the shit just keep turning against you. Now, I'm definitely feeling like this is like a bacteria infection or something like that. Look, drink me. Eat me. I want, it's like, I'm serious. I want to say, like, this is like a bacteria infection. Like, someone keeps giving you a bacteria infection. It definitely could be a third-party situation here if this has anything to do with love. Echinacea is used for, like, bacteria infections and shit. I promise you, Mo. I promise you. Where's my herb deck? Y'all about to make me get my herb deck. Man, y'all about to make me get my herb deck, bro. Y'all about to stop it with this right now. I'm about to read this shit to you right now, my nigga. Where's Echinacea at, man? Please, man. Echinacea. Forfeity. Infections. Infections. Flu. Be gone. Y'all see that? I'm going to read it. Infections. Flu. Be gone. Go away. I'll make sure they'll never stay. Pretty petals, cones that flower, enhance and restore your cone of power. When your defenses are down and you're feeling low, allow me to strengthen your weakened resolve. Don't feel fooled by my pretty dainty petals, for I have the power to enhance your immune system. Just a couple of drops of my tincture will fortify you against the symptoms of cold as I battle against the virus on your behalf. Just as I thrive and grow with a secure confines of a herbless border, it is imperative that you build your defenses. I will lend you my protective shield to activate and maintain your core strength and to help you adjust to a period of emotional and spiritual transition. I told y'all, growth. It's like you, you. That echinacea right there is telling me you realizing it's this person that, get, that keeps making your body sick. That's why you're sick. And it's like, you were warned to drop this with this tent. You were warned to like stay away from this. Listen, the Jabberwocky, the jaws that, block, that bite the um, claws that um, catch. Stop trying to continue to push forward with this. You know what I'm saying? And, and also with the... Um, with the ten of, of wands, it's like you trying to carry and do everything on your own by yourself. And it's like it's constantly making you sick. It's out of a too it's too much stress on your body. And even if it's something as simple as BV, if every time you turn around every couple of weeks, every month, you got as soon as you cure yourself, you keep reintroducing yourself to this, and people are telling you. Stop going like this. Listen, the death card. This time when you drink me and eat me, blow that flame out 
ashes to ashes to stop stop going stop you understand because at the end of the day you're not really getting the recognition the reward and the t attention from this king of cups you know you could be dealing with a water sign of cancer pisces scorpio could definitely be a scorpio here you understand this person might just be all about self and may be an attention whore. You know what I'm saying? It might be taking attention from anybody. You know, so stop continuing to work hard to be acknowledged by this person. It's like you're doing everything by yourself and you're still not getting the recognition. This person is playing the cards that they, this person is playing their cards well and keeps a poker face on. You would never truly know where you fit in in this lineup here you know what i'm saying so this person keeps a poker face and I, i'm serious i feel like someone it keeps making you sick take your medicine and get out get out you know what i'm saying get out it's about you being in control of your emotions this time and i feel like you are i feel like you're tired of keep having to go to the freaking doctor um it says, as you work with healing properties of my cone flower, I'll help you boost your clairvoyant and psychic abilities, restoring energies to enhance and raise your cone power when working with this ritual magic. I told you, man. It's like, you see that shit now. It's like, no, I'm sharp now. <laughs> you see, she got that sharp cup. I'm sharp now. It's sticking this time. <laughs> it's stick. I got it. It's stick. I'm growing. I get you. Listen, this ain't love. Now, I don't want to be a part of this relationship. I don't listen. I don't know if you in the third because you see, it's like this. These two are in a relationship. They're telling you go the fuck away, go home, bye. We got enough drama. We don't need you here. Uh, who sent you? Bye. You have questions? What? Go home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like she, Big Mama, is not playing. And it could very much sound like you made me the more attractive of the two. Look, you might be the more attractive of the two. Because I feel like this is an active third party situation. This is an active. This is active. You know what I'm saying? And this person may not be able to give their attention to you because they could. They got like Big Mama over there or something like that. And ooh. And like I said, it's too close. Like it's like, mm-mm. It's like... When this person is having sex with you, it's like having sex with her at the same time. And it's just like, ugh. 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 Ooh. And like this, I feel like this woman will bite you. Like she will try to fight you. Like she will try to hurt you or something like that. So like, watch yourself. It's not worth it. You see what I'm saying? Things coming out on both ends. Like, no. Ew. Ew garlic the strength of reverse so again garlic and honey is another antibacterial substance that you could use to fat fight bacteria in your system you know what i'm saying i'm dead ass serious like if you ever start feeling sick if you got a clove of garlic and some honey take a whole clove of garlic a bottle of water and a teaspoon of honey because you're gonna need that teaspoon of honey to chase that garlic down take a whole clove of garlic Chew it as much as you can. I'm trying to tell you. Chew it as much as you can. Swallow it back with a teaspoon of honey and a bottle of water and just drink it all back. Promise you. It, that, that is like, because I'm trying to tell y'all, I know I already had the, the coronavirus. I know I had it earlier this year. And... I was too scared to go to the doctor because I didn't want to, if I didn't have it, I didn't want to get sick. <laughs> I didn't really want to get sick. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, let me just try to fight this off myself naturally with what I know I have at my house and what I can do. Honey, every other day I was getting my ass up out of that bed and look what they got. Garlic and honey. And that's exactly what I was doing. So when I actually got this card and I seen this card it made me laugh because that's what my spirit and my intuition told me to do I don't like I have never even looked that up I don't know like literally that must be my grandma that's on the other side that told me what to do you know what I'm saying so I'm serious like you have to find a natural cause and a natural remedy for you to fight 
you can fight this and get this out of your system. You know what I'm saying? Have it be by pills with echinacea. And, and like literally the echinacea card, it shows you like the pills. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the, um, a lot of the medicines that we use are used with these things, are, are made with these things. Let me try to find, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to uh, mess up and make this longer than it needs to be, but it's just, I just need to stress. Honey. Four for you. Okay, echinacea. Here we go. Look. You see? You see the pills? Those white pills. <sighs> and y'all know what the BV is dirty dick syndrome. Y'all already know what that is. You know what causes that. If someone have an unprotected sex with you and have an unprotected sex with someone else, that's that's dirty dick. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I know that you may really love this person, but you have to fight the temptation. Like the strength on the, on the back side of the strength card is the devil. You understand? It's temptation. Something that you know is not good for you, is not healthy for you, but you you keep going to do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like you can at this point be aware that there's another person, or you may be the third party in a situation but it's like every time this person pokes their head in your direction even though they may not give you that much attention at all but whenever they do they know you're going to answer they know you don't have the strength to like reject them or refuse their advances like this is what this cocky motherfucker knows you see what i'm saying that's why they playing their cards like that they don't have to give you attention they don't have to do because you go you gonna carry because you 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 gonna do it you know what I'm saying? This person think that you're going to run the extra mile for them. You know what I'm saying? Because you're competing for a position. You know, you're competing for a position. But the whole time they don't even know, like, once you finish this goddamn dose of whatever the pills you're taking, like, you done. I really do feel like you're done. You know? Um, you need to fight this temptation. You need to fight this infection. That's Because it's like this person kind of like infected your spirit you know and that's why you gotta be careful of who you have sex with or who you you know lay down and share your body with because once you become intimate with someone it's like it's hard to just it's hard to walk away especially if you have an unprotected sex look nonsense you see what i'm saying this this whole situation is fucking nonsense it's it's time to talk sense this whole situation is nonsense and it's like again like now I gotta I gotta read y'all these two cards because it's like even though it's like your body is telling you and you're trying to grow up and resist this temptation it's like somehow you can't resist like feeding into the nonsense of the love triangle you know what i'm saying it's clearly a third party situation it's something you keep introducing to your system regardless of what your intuition is telling you to stop this experience because it's going listen look at what it's it's it keeps happening over and over and over again and you, you're still not getting the attention and love and stuff that you want this person is playing <laughs> you know what i'm saying Playing. Look, I open right up to nonsense. Come on now. It says nonsense in the reverse. Backing down at the moment of truth. Running from a confrontation. Allowing someone to intimidate you. And an inability to find courage within. Fear of punishment. Loss of voice. Believing you cannot be brave without being aggressive. So it's like... <laughs> Again, even though this shit is bothering you, it's like you're not stepping up and telling this person, look, I know you're fucking with this girl. You know what I'm saying? And I know you're fucking with someone else. 
I, I know this is nonsense. You keep trying to play your cards between me and this, and it, you know, and you keep trying to make it seem like both of us is queen and like I'm over here and she's over there with you and like I'm getting calls from this bitch now and you know, it's just like because I really do, I feel like someone's talking nonsense. It's t nonsense being communicated amongst the queens at this point. I definitely feel there's there's acknowledgement of each other. And that's why you are, like, why must think this shit is hurting on both ends? You know what I'm saying? On both ends. It's like you're trying to be mature. And, it's like, this time it's like you just want it to stick. You're not trying to be... It's like I refuse to allow someone to make me feel insecure. Um... You know, or anything like that, because it's like when you put people in these situations and make people not want to, you know, not be sure of themselves, you be like, I'll be damned. I'll be damned. I don't feel like you've lost your confidence at all. Um, it's just putting the burden down. It's what you need to do. And just realizing, you know, this is what is constantly keeping sick, keeping me sick. It's not good for my body. This situation is fucking nonsense. Like, it's time for me to grow up. Wanting to grow in experiences. Rejection of perpetual youth. You know what I'm saying? Of keep doing things that I know life is teaching me that is not bringing any value to me. This is the four of spades. The four of spades. And then the four of spades ain't good, baby. The four of spades is like the sick bed, bitch. Okay? The four of spades is the sick bed. It's like the rest bed, you know, like you, oh, Jesus Christ, Father, help me. I hope ain't none of y'all catch nothing to end up. It says, old oh, oysters, the carpenter said, you've had a pleasant run. I told, listen, this motherfucker about to eat. Woo, y'all know what happened to them damn oysters that they don't pick. Oh, oh oysters, you've had a pleasant run. And again, this was in the reverse, so it's like still a rejection of realizing so that you need to stop doing something. So let me, the fourth spade, you guys, oh my gracious. The four spades, illness. I just, ooh, baby, illness. Recuperation, the need for caution, the sick bed, a hospital room, the coffin, a jail cell. Rest, confinement, exhaustion, the need to take it easy, move at a slower pace, bedridden, feeling fenced in, staying at home, unhealthy situation, feeling trapped, feeling sick and tired. I told y'all, as ever you being mentally sick and tired, and someone and gave you something, sis. Like, I ain't even about to fucking hold you, bruh. Some got you sick, Mo. You hear me? Ooh, and my stomach is hurting now. Y'all stop. I don't want it. Y'all don't want to feel this shit, man. Listen again, y'all would not you want protecting yourself. This is the nine of wands in reverse. This is like you putting you put your guards and your defenses down. Like you definitely was not wearing no protection, young. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Father God. Hold on. Father God. I don't know whoever this is going through this life experiences. I just ask that you put your hands over my babies and you just cover them in the name of Jesus. Please, whatever medicines, whatever vitamins, whatever daily life regimens, whatever reality check that they need, Father God, please allow them to receive it and believe it. Please heal their body and remove any type of sickness or illness from them in the name of Jesus. I pray. And you always say you protect children and fools. And God, I, I'm being honest right now. I'm going to tell you, um, this is someone that just really is just having a hard time of learning and didn't and, 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 and know any better. So I ask you, Father God, uh, forgiveness is needed and lessons um, are truly being learned and being felt at this moment, Father God. I feel like everyone, even if this is, isn't their energy, they are receiving this. And this is a wake-up call for us all in the name of Jesus. So I ask you for protection of all and just clairvoyance 
and, 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 and the gift of sight so this person can truly see the wisdom that you are trying to uh, relinquish doubt upon us all right now in the name of Jesus I pray amen child listen I'm sorry I had, to, I had to lay hands I had to lay hands honey I had to lay hands and for everyone please we need to start using protection okay I know people don't use condoms you know what I'm saying and everyone should use condoms you know and I, I listen y'all got to because you don't never know where people been or what people doing or with people lying to you. Especially if you feel like the attention is off and it's lacking and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of this shit is like, no, it's no. What is this? The Six of Swords in the first Verse again? It's like, just, you keep going backwards to this. And it's at the Ace of Pentacles and it's not. You're not receiving. You're not receiving. You know? You need to leave. You know what I'm saying? You need to leave and not come back to this. This is not a safe place. You're not. Nothing is going to grow out of this situation. There is another person there. I feel like there's sickness in this situation. And if you haven't caught it, I don't want you to catch it. You understand? And I'm praying that it's just BV. You know what I'm saying? I'm praying that it's just a bacteria infection. You understand? Once you heal your body and you get it out of your system, make this lesson stick this time. It's time to grow up. You know, it's time for you to really gather your emotions and step up and, and, and act and treat your body and your temple like royalty at this point. You know what I'm saying? So, Gemini, I love you, my dear. I love you. Continue to love yourself and wake up. Wake up. Wake up. God has been warning you. Please pay attention. I love you, baby. Peace.